Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. Mama June and her entire family have started to lose their harder respect. This is because viewers have begun to consider them as money hoarders. There have been several instances when they have begged for monetary help from their audience. And the latter is now fed up with all this viewers recently lost their calm and slammed dog. They wondered why the network gave Shannon's family a platform to grift their audience mama June critics call out by TV for showcasing a family of grifters June Shannon and her clan have earned many names in the past because of their strange activities mama. June viewers have started to call them grifters and money hoarders and believe that these people can go to any lengths just to get a few bucks, but the recent episode of the Family Crisis Edition has tested the patience of the audience who are now slamming the network for bringing the Nubid family to the screen. During a recent episode, viewers saw Shannon taking a step back and contributing to Alana's college fees. She bluntly refused and claimed that she was out of funds. Hence, Alana was heartbroken as she felt that her mother was avoiding her and wouldn't even pay a single penny. Though some viewers sympathized with Honey Boo Boo, others felt that that this was scripted. Some Mama June watchers took to Reddit and discussed how there couldn't be a mother who wouldn't contribute to her daughter's college. The op explained how the family was hyping the situation in order to gather funds. The thread pointed out that Shannon and her daughters were trying to gain sympathy, and because of this many of their viewers would end up donating some money to them. That is why viewers called out WTV this time they were in disbelief and wondered why the network was supporting these alleged grifters. They even begged at the channel to cancel the franchise and stopped giving them a platform for collecting funds Mama June. Shannon's issues are all about fans have watched Mama June but heads with her daughters over money. Uncountable times apparently money has played a huge role in her storyline and she ended up having an estranged relationship with her daughters. Because of it, even after all this, Shannon claims that she is hurting for money and her pockets are empty. During a recent episode, Jun's family was discussing ways and means by which they would pay Honey Boo Boo's college fees. Pumpkin noted that they only needed funds for the first semester and not the whole amount from the matriarch. However, the latter was quick to play the victim card and claimed that she couldn't even pay half of the tuition fee amount. Shannon revealed that she had a sin account, but Alana would be able to access the money. Only when she turns 21, though the salve stated that she would talk to the bank viewers and her daughters were sure that she wouldn't do anything. On the other hand, Honey Boo Boo accused her of stealing money from her, which further complicated the dynamics. Hence, it is evident that money is one of the main reasons behind the disintegration of Jun's family. The phrase Mama June and family called grifters and slammed a Gita for renewing the show reverberated across social media platforms, igniting a blaze of debate and controversy once celebrated as a beacon of reality TV's raw, unfiltered glimpse into the life of a Southern family mama Jun Shannon and her clan have now found themselves mired in a storm of public disapproval. What caused this drastic shift in public perception? Let's dive deep into the labyrinthine journey of Mama June and her family tracing the origins of their notoriety and the reasons behind the backlash against YTV's decision to renew their show. The saga began innocuously enough with here, comes Honey, Boo Boo, a spin-off from TLC's Toddlers, and Tyra's Alana Honey Boo Boo Thompson, the youngest daughter of Mama June, captured the hearts of millions with her larger-than-life personality and irrepressible charm. The show depicted a family that was by all appearance, ordinary warts, and all their unabashed embrace of their quirks made them relatable and endearing to many viewers. It was a modern-day reality TV version of the American dream set against the backdrop of rural Georgia. However, the narrative took a darker turn as the family's private struggles began to surface publicly. Mama Jun's battles with substance abuse and legal troubles cast a long shadow over the family's wholesome image. The media frenzy that followed revealed the more complicated and troubling portrait of the family. Dynamics fans who once cheered for the Shannon family's rise to fame now watched with a mix of concern and disappointment as the family grappled with issues that were all too real and all too tragic. WTV's decision to renew Mama June from Nut to Hot later rebranded as Mama June Road to Redemption was met with significant backlash. Critics argued that the net work was exploiting the family's turmoil. 
For ratings turning personal pain into public spectacle, the term grifters began to circulate suggesting that Mama June and her family were manipulating their misfortunes to stay in the public eye and continue receiving financial gain. The backlash wasn't just about the family's actions, it was also a condemnation of the network's role I perpetuating what many saw it as an unhealthy cycle of exploitation fans took to social media to voice their discontent. Why are we giving a platform to a family that clearly needs help, not a camera in their faces, tweeted one. Disgruntled viewer others accused the network of enabling destructive behavior. This isn't entertainment, it's a train wreck of the UV should be ashamed. Another comment read the sentiment was clear. Many believe the show had crossed a line from entertainment to exploitation. This raises broader questions about the eth of reality. Television at what point does documenting a family's life veer into the territory of voyeurism? Is there a responsibility on the part of networks to protect the well-being of their stars? These questions are not new but have gained renewed urgency in the context of Mama June and her family story, WTV, defended its decision to renew the show arguing that it provided a platform for the family to tell their story and potentially inspire others facing similar struggles. In a statement, the network emphasized the importance of depicting real-life challenges and the potential for redemption. Our intention has always been to highlight the resilience and strength of the human spirit. We believe in the potential for transformation and hope that Mama Jun's journey can serve as a beacon for those facing similar battles. The statement read, however, critics remained unconvinced the argument that the show could be a source of inspiration was overshed out by the prevailing perception that it was primarily about ratings and profit. The narrative of redemption seemed secondary to the spectacle of scandal and downfall. For many, it was a stark reminder of the darker side of reality TV where the lines between reality and performance blur and real lives can be affected in profound and sometimes damaging ways in the midst of the controversy Mama Chun and her family have continued to navigate their complex reality under the relentless gaze of the public eye the show's renewal brought with it a fresh wave of scrutiny and judgment for some viewers. There remains a morbid fascination with the Shannon family's ongoing saga, a testament to the enduring. You're of reality TV's promise of unfiltered raw human experience for others. It is a troubling reminder of the ethical quantities inherent in a genre that profits from personal struggle as the debate rages on one thing is clear. Mama Jun and her family are emblematic of the intricate and often problematic relationship between reality TV stars and their audiences. They are a mirror, reflecting both the captivating AER and the potential pitfalls of a genre that thrives on the promise of real life drama, whether seen as grifters or victims of an exploit system, their story continues to challenge viewers to consider the true cost of their entertainment. In the final analysis, the controversy surrounding the renewal of Mama Jun's show by WTV serves as a potent reminder of the complexities and ethical dilemmas that underpin reality. Television, it forces us to question not only the actions of those in front of the camera, but also the motivations of those behind it. As viewers, it compels us to reflect on our own roles in this. Dynamic our fascination with the spectacle, our judgments, and our complicity in a system that often prioritizes entertainment over empathy.